The year was 1998. I was 14 years old and on my 15th birthday, October 25th, the biggest world championship wrestling pay-per-view was going to take place. Halloween Havoc. The boys were assembled, the pizza and cake demolished. It was time for some of the greatest matches we'd ever dreamed of. Bret Hart vs. Sting, Hollywood Hulk Hogan's decade in the making rematch with Ultimate Warrior, and one of the most anticipated main events of all time. The undefeated Bill Goldberg versus the hottest babyface wrestler WCW had produced, Diamond Dallas Page. And then the unthinkable happened. They mucked the whole thing up. I guess at this point I'm a wrestling super fan or some type of half-ass historian. That's what happens when you get old kids. I've watched the Monday Night War series and Who Killed WCW, and as someone who doesn't matter at all, here's my two cents on what was the ultimate demise of World Championship Wrestling. Backstabbing, egos, mismanagement, bad direction, complete lack of any direction, corporate disinterest. WCW suffered from all of the above. But I want to go back to Halloween Havoc 98. I think that this is the moment that WCW lost the battle and eventually the war. This was a dream card with awesome matchups and moments. Yes, the big egos bloated the runtime and that led to the pay-per-view going over its allotted time slot, which in turn saw the main event being blacked out. This was a big effing deal at the time. Considering pay-per-views cost $50 and you had to get your parents to okay that type of purchase on a cable bill, shoo, I was lucky it was my birthday. But I think the future success of the company hinged on the outcome of the main event. DDP was a homegrown WCW great. He was over with the fans. The diamond cutter, predating the RKO, was used in every pool from Cherry Hill to Burbank. Ah! This guy was the guy to beat Goldberg. He had the charisma, he had the vibe, he had the mullet, dog. It was glistening, sparkling in the light, and he could tear it down in the ring. He actually put on the best match of Goldberg's career. This was the time to end the streak, and Diamond Dallas Page was the guy to do it. But he didn't, and we all know what happened from there. DDP slowly fizzled out. Nash ended the streak in terrible fashion. Which led to the finger poke of doom, and the rest is history. But what if DDP wins? Now, my friends and I were diehard WWF fans, but even we recognized how hot the WCW was and how awesome the billing for Halloween Havoc 98 had been. If DDP does win, he could have went on the feud with Bret Hart, Booker T, Sting, Hall, Nash, whoever. It could have been an epic run that carried the company into the new millennium. If DDP wins the belt at Halloween Havoc 98, WCW has two homegrown stars at the top of the card, Bill Goldberg and Paige. No longer would Hogan and the WWF defectors be the face of the company. Hogan could have went on to have a proper feud with Ric Flair. That's a feud everyone wanted to see. Nash and Hall could have feuded with Bill Goldberg. The NWO could have played a true heel faction with a worthy opponent in DDP and the young, up-and-coming WCW roster. And with the power of the internet, the eventuality of social media, video games, action figures, merchandise, I don't know, WCW might probably still be here today. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass.